when you finally move on, the narcissist does this. You figured out the narcissist. You realize what they were about. You became aware of what they were trying to do to you. And you got yourself out of there. You left the relationship. You thought it was finally over. But now it seems like it was only the beginning. It seems like things are getting worse than they were while you were with them. Because the narcissist cannot just let you go without a fight. They will hold on for dear life. When you finally move on, the narcissist does this. When you finally move on, it triggers a narcissistic injury. It provokes narcissistic rage. They are very jealous and insecure. They can't stand to see you living your life without them. They can't stand to see you enjoying your freedom. Doing something that doesn't include them. They have to stick their noses into everything. They can't mind their own business. They can't refrain from interfering in other people's lives. Once they have met you and been involved in your life, they feel like they own you. They feel like you belong to them now. They feel like you're their property until one of you dies. That's just the mentality of a narcissist. And they will get offended when they realize that you don't see it the same way. When they realize that you think you can just move on without them. They feel like they are losing control. They feel like they are losing their influence and authority over you. It's like their pet is escaping. And they can no longer use you to meet their own needs. They feel worthless and insignificant. As though they're not good enough for you. And while they may have spent the entire relationship making you feel that way. They can dish it out. But they can't take it. They hate it when you do the same thing to them. Even if it's not intentional. Even if you're just trying to move on without revenge. They still see it as a threat to their existence. When you finally move on. The narcissist will do whatever it takes to rope you back in. To maintain some form of revel relevance and significance to you. To remain in your life. They are jealous and insecure. They feel like someone or something is taking you away from them. 
and they don't like how it feels. Because in their minds you belong to them. In their minds you're their property. So once they can see that you're trying to move on, they feel justified to do whatever they want to you. Up until this point, they have likely already been working on attacking your character. They will have been talking to people about you. Smearing your name. Making you look bad in front of other people. So that when you try to move on. You look like the problem. It makes it look like you're abandoning them. As though you're doing something wrong. When really, you're just trying to get away from the abuse. But they have already preconditioned people's minds to get them to see things in the way that they want. So they're not going to believe you. They're not going to see things that way. They're going to look at it as though you're wrong for leaving them. You're wrong for trying to move on. Which can affect every aspect of your life. It can ruin your reputation. And damage potential opportunities. When you finally move on, the narcissist will always find a way to pop up in your life again. They will always find a way to remind you that they're still there. Because they don't want you to forget about them. They don't want you to move on and live your life without them. They're jealous and insecure. They don't want you to be good for anyone else after they're gone. The way they see it is. If you're not going to stay with them. You might as well be dead. They just can't stand the thought of someone else partaking in everything that you are. Because in their minds you belong to them. In their minds you're their property. Regardless of what you want to do or how you're feeling. It's all about what they want. And they will do whatever it takes to keep you around. They will hold on to your possessions. They will try to take custody of your children. They will place financial hooks into you. Whatever it takes to keep you tied to them. To remain a part of your life. They're not just going to let you go without a fight. Because in their minds you belong to them. They feel entitled to you and everything that you have. They can spend years keeping tabs on you. To the point where they become more focused in your life than they are in their own lives. They just become fixated on you. They're always watching. They can't let things go. It just develops into this crazed obsession. And if they know that they can't secure you by being nice. 
they will cause problems for you. They will disrupt everything you've got going on in your life. They will stalk and harass you. Until you feel like the only way that you can get it to stop is if you just talk to them. If you just go back to them. They can't just let you go. They have abandonment issues. Once they've been involved with you, they see it as though that's it for life. It's like this unspoken contract that you agree to just by engaging with them. And they expect you to abide by these rules, which you have no knowledge about just because they thought it in their minds. It's really psychotic behavior, but this is how they think. And they expect you to see it in the same way. Once you meet the narcissist, it's like there's no escape. They will do whatever it takes to remain a part of your life. Manipulating you into marriage. Having children with you. Having authority and control over your work, assets or finances. Anything where they can sink their claws into to remain a part of your life. Normal breakups can be instant or they may last up to a few weeks. But with the narcissist, it can go on for years or even entire lifetimes. They are self-absorbed and lack empathy. They are jealous and insecure. They have a strong sense of entitlement and an exaggerated sense of their own abilities and importance, which is really just a recipe for disaster. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. Check out the new Narc Survivor website at www narcsurvivor.co.uk where you can read my blog posts, book coaching sessions and join a support forum. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.